Welcome back to the Three Bourbon Years. This week we have a very special guest. This is the High West and Prisoner. Ooh. The Prisoner Share. Kind of a redundant title. I wonder but what he did tried. to get in prison. Basically, this is an amazing <laughs> collaboration between High West, one of our go-tos, mm -hmm. that uh, used yeah. The Prisoner. It's a popular wine, wine or red blend. A vineyard in California. Yeah. Red blends. <laughs> I don't know why. What do we know? Uh, what do we know, Taylor? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna need some help on this one since I don't know anything about this bottle. So Apparently, there's 15 year old whiskey in here. We don't know how much. We don't know how much there is. Yeah. This is from well, the that's internet. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Four to 15 year. Four to 15 year. You can always try. Uh, it's a blend bourbon and rise. Bourbon and rise, which so it's is kind of like a boo rye finished. Yeah. In a, Ooh. Yeah. Interesting. 51% like alcohol. Yeah, 102, I don't know. Also, this one released good marketing. without any um, like prior knowledge, right? Yes. So like it just dropped yep. after midwinter. Uh, yeah, and they did Encore too. So they just did like huge the year for Midwinter. Yeah, yeah they just dropped here, a whole bunch right? of stuff. Yeah. I mean, bottle, interesting. bottle gorgeous. Yeah. Let's talk about the bottle a little bit. I wax mean, dip. Wax dip. You had this little, I don't know. No one knows what that Dude, is. Hickey. It's a little metal a little thing like, that dangles when you're, you know, <laughs> when you're moving it, which makes it sound fancy. <laughs> little booby tassel. Uh, $189. Is what what you guys spend? Yeah, I didn't go in on this one. Yeah, <laughs> These two she, uh, it retails for one seventy five typically. Yeah, we spent one ninety on it. You can't find it anywhere in Wisconsin. No, it's, we were not, we were very fortunate to find it. Yeah, is, is just yeah. I actually so. am so surprised that we we saw and we couldn't find how many were made or released. There, we looked online and um, uh oh <laughs> oh no, and there's no there's no statement on like oh we made five thousand bottles or you know. Whatever, so I wonder if that means there is a lot, but it's just like confined. I don't think though, you know, be, I don't think so because West does some of those distiller only releases, but but how many barrels are they finishing these in? You know what I mean? That's the they didn't get 5,000 barrels from I mean, they probably got a few hundred, yeah, so. yeah, definitely. So, a Bowie knife from <laughs> Call of Duty, <laughs> just start this. knifing it. <laughs> they want to keep it sealed up though. There's probably a better way to do this. Well, normally, like you, like blade and bow, you just tore the. That's paper, I guess. It sounds like it's like, kind of like. Coming oh, off. This is a good time while he pours or tries to open. While this. he attempts to open that and fails. <laughs> Please uh, like, comment, subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a ton. Uh, have you guys had a chance to try Prisoner Share? Uh, check out some of our other videos. We did some other High West uh, stuff. We did Midwinter. We've done two Midwinters and the Encore. Yeah, we did what Act Nine and Act. No, is it act or scene? Uh, act nine, act 10. We did nine and 10 and we did the encore yep. and now we're doing this. So yeah, check those out. We had, a, stuff. We had a boo rye and we didn't do the review on it, which I'm kind of kicking and ass. Yeah, we well, pounded it. We, we pounded that bottle. Fast. It was so good. Right. Pork pop. Ooh. She was in there. Ooh. Spicy gal. I like the black, <laughs> I like the black yeah. tip. That's a uh, nice. So I did try this and I haven't, uh, maybe I did share. Did you try this? Yeah, he got a pour at a bar. Four sisters, remember? I took a photo. Oh yeah, that's right. You did. All right, before we do anything, let's just it. take a gander at the nice, like, flaky <laughs> bottle and how like red and dark that. Yeah, is. it is. This that is, is a gorgeous. finished bourbon. The wine influence yeah. is heavy. It looks that like. is. Uh, I mean, I can smell it as soon as I opened it. Like, that is beautiful. You get like the aroma a... permeated my zone. Tell me that <laughs> bottle is not awesome. I mean, like my quadrant. I killed it. We didn't. We didn't look at the lines in the last video you that we did. No, we did. That's all right. Doesn't matter. Yeah, she probably oh. had a short skirt. Oh, oh, oh what's mama! Going what's going on there? <laughs> what's going oh. on in my glass? Ooh, something's happening. Ooh, the room is spinning. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that is uh, great legs. That Mitch is just like, loving the, the the nose. It's reminding me of midwinter. It smells good. I can it smells, taste it. It's yeah, like I could, I could live in here. Juicy, delicious, sexy, <laughs> silky nose. <laughs> Short shooting snort. <laughs> Black sheep. Yeah. Boy, that smells okay. like raspberry you cheesecake. Talk about what? I feel like I'm walking into a. I feel like I'm walking into the pearl. I'm oh, a Sunday morning ice cream shop. They're 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 blending up strawberry milkshakes. Mm. Oh, there's also strawberry like milkshake. some some of that um, like chalky candy that they're making there. Mm -hmm. There's some other types of candy, maybe a little bit of chocolate, but I feel like I'm walking into a confectionery sugary sweet shop. When yeah, I it's it. just like a dessert fest in your mouth. 
They're in your nose. Yes. Like it's. Do you know what this is? This dark. is a. This is a. I wanted to say hot fudge sundae, but it's not. It's a sundae with like all the strawberry syrup drizzled over the top. Yeah. With like some fresh strawberries, some raspberries. Strawberry shortcake. I, I was thinking of strawberry shortcake or even like raspberry cheesecake. The second like, you talk about fruit, I'm starting to ooh, get a little bit fruit. of knob twelve nose there. Oh yeah, with a little, little raspberry cheesecake. Little raspberry a, cheesecake. A little yeah. bit to that same it's, kind it's of. It's got that string of like yeah, raspberry, cherry, strawberry. It's like, like lighter. Fr I wouldn't say dark fruit. I'd say lighter red fruit. Yeah, it's like it's like a light fruit put on top of a whipped cream. Yeah. You know, it smells a little hotter than fifty one percent. I like it. It kind of. I don't know, man. I might well, maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah, I mean, it offends a little bit, I just but feel it's like not. I, can, I feel like I can dig in there, right? Oh man, that is a it is beautiful nose. I mean, well-rounded everything. Yeah, yeah. It, you're right. I, I do get a little bit of a little bit of a twinge if I yeah. get too deep in there. But she's an oily gal. Is she? Oh man, I'm excited for this one. Fairly short skirt, as Mitch would say. This is nearly two hundred dollars. <laughs> it better knock myself. I don't even want to think about that. When <laughs> yeah, I'm I don't. Get it, though. No, that's true. Okay, All right. Wash it clean. It's it's Mitch. You haven't bottle. said it in a long time. What's that? I'm gonna, Over I'm the gonna... lips and through the gums, like out <laughs> stomach. Here she comes. <laughs> we'll take it. All right. Cheers. 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 Ooh. 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 Oh. 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 <laughs> it's still finishing in my mouth. Okay. So first sip. I'm still tasting it. It, it's, it might have roller coaster qualities. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I gotta get a second sip before yes, I can go yeah, judging. Yeah. That was just prepping the palate. I see, I'm I'm you guys are having your second sip. I can still taste it. I mean, this is like the definition of long finish. I mean, it is like Wow. High West is at it again. Here's my Why is your shit so expensive? <laughs> God, I want like eight of these. Here's my question: How much wine was left over in those barrels when right. they threw it's, that bourbon, or the, when they threw that whiskey in those barrels? That's my question. Immediately, I get the dry finish. Like, so it's it's hard to explain. Yeah. The finish is long, yeah. but on my tongue, it, it is a wine dry finish. It yep. is. Yeah, like you it's need to take another sip. The influence is heavy yeah. on this. It reminds me of the Driftless Glen port finish. Yeah. Where it's like, and it was similar color too. You know, yep. like maybe like you said, they're leaving a little bit more. Of the wine in the barrels, so it's really mixing with it. Man, oh. so the wine hits you like up front, and then to me it disappears, and it's like a bourbon rye. Yeah. And then it, and then it comes roaring back in the finish. At the very end, I get there. That, yeah. That whiny kind of tanniny finish at the very end. So Ooh. yeah, it's got that roller coaster quality. You're yeah. absolutely right. This is this is nuts. This is it. This is a file cabinet. Dude, when whiskey. you first swallow it, it's like I'm drinking a red blend wine. Like it is. it's down, and then all see like all this other stuff happens. I came into this wow. not wanting to like this. I mean, I'm not gonna give away. <laughs> no, no, I get it. Even because of the price, I came into this thinking like 190 bucks. High West. I wasn't too impressed with the Midwinter Nights Tram. It was really good, and we liked the Act Nine lot, was but like better. Yeah, I wasn't like crazy impressed with this year's. Um, even though we put it in our our top five. Yeah, but you weren't alone. A lot of people said that about yeah. this past year. Oh. Should we gonna try by tonight? <laughs> yes. All right, All right, let's do it. Try by tonight. One ninety. I'm not going first. <laughs> yeah, that that'll pucker your butthole. Mitch always goes first, and <sighs> we change his mind when we talk. So I think you should go first. You went first last time. Yeah. You should go first again. Okay, I'll go first. You go first. Oh my! I don't even know what to say. What do you do with a hundred ninety dollar bottle? <laughs> I can go first if you want. I know. You know. I know. Go. Okay, go for it. I'm happy to hear. All right, ladies and gents. Prepare your rears. I feel like we're gonna get strong words from a strong man. <laughs> this is a buy. $190 buy. It's so a buy. Let's hear it. Why? So there's a lot of expensive whiskey out there, like yeah. Cigar Blend, like Calumet 16, right? And those in particular, we have felt are worth it. And why? Why were those bottles worth it? Because they are different. Experience. Did something completely out of the ordinary and, and <laughs> hit a 
home run out of right field. I don't even know. I don't play baseball. Is that impressive? I don't know. Center field? Is that more impressive because it's further away? You can hit a, a home run out of any sort of field. All right. Anyways, <laughs> it's freaking amazing. It's a uh, filing cabinet of flavors. You get the wine influence. You get the bourbon. You get the rye. You get a little bit of everything. $190. I would love to see it at like $150 even. Like... Um, this is way better than both of the Midwinter Night Strams for Act, well, Act 10 and the Encore. This, this is way better. Now, does it mean that it's worth... Strong words. Strong words. Does strong. it mean that it's worth, yeah. what, Captain 70, 70 <laughs> more dollars? It's not worth 70 more dollars. It's not. So, technically, That's a point, 70 more. I'm saying this is not worth it, but I think everyone should have one and try it. I can go next. Do it. Um... <laughs> you you said you're next, like you're ready, and then you're like, oh, oh wait. No, I can go. Uh, ew, I got a hair on me. So, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a try on this. Uh, no, I think it's, I think it's, it's delicious whiskey. It's super, super good. But, um, I think that just at the price point for me, right? Like, I don't know if I would feel comfortable spending $190 on this. 175. I don't even know if I'd be comfortable spending 175. Like, well, here, you're to not going to be comfortable spending me, more know, than 100 even. To me, this sits at like 150, like you said. Yeah. You kind of took it out of my head. That's that's like where I want to see this bottle at. If I spent 150 on this bottle, I wouldn't feel so bad. I think it, it you got plenty of value there at 150, but like 190, like with, with tax, you're talking 200 bucks. Like, why do they get to charge that much? So why, yeah, why do yeah. they get to do that? I, I mean, mean, I mean, you are getting age. We don't know how much baby. age. At this price, I want to see more information on the whiskey that's in there. That's my yeah. biggest issue with it. Is more that, transparency. Like, I, I want to know how much 15-year-old whiskey's in here, right? Because it matters and it makes a difference. To also, it does, what's right? going on with You're the right. wine that was in here? Exactly. Was this wine stored in there for six years? Exactly. Too? And like, some people are going to say like it doesn't, like the age doesn't the matter and, and stuff like that. But to it me, does. it does matter it because does. It, it takes more time in the barrel, which costs the distillery more money. It's you got to do different things. You have to mm -hmm. rotate barrels, things like that. So like, there's just more going into it. It's more it. valuable. Well, and we've it, seen that yes. minimum <clears throat> or limited amounts of aged whiskey can completely alternate and change right flavor profiles. Exactly. So, so that, that that's my biggest problem with it is that it's just like I don't know what's in you would want right? a little bit of price decrease and some more transparency. Yeah, I mean like on the bottle. Hey, if they said it's it's fifty percent. 15 year old whiskey. Oh yeah, hell yeah, that's that's then great. The 190 price is not that big of a deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it. Then. Yeah, but like, just if it's like Remus and it's two percent, but like, hey, at the end of the day, <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for putting a droplet right. in my bottle. Right. At the end of the day, it's great whiskey. I, try it at a bar. I'm not denying it at all. I'm saying, go to a bar if you see it and it's a reasonable price for a pour. Some that's the problem. People at bars are going to try and charge ungodly yeah, prices. How much well, I yours? have a story for you. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go. hear about it, but like, don't don't spend too much on this bottle at a bar. If it's like a twenty dollar pour, a fifteen, sixteen, anywhere in that range, that's what I would pay for it at a bar for a pour. I would be happy with that. It's delicious whiskey. Really great stuff. Great nose. Great finish. Everything. Good job, so, High West. Stop yeah. gouging everyone. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Um, there's some truth to the High West thing. I think they are gouging a little bit, and I love High West. I've been to both of their physical locations. Yeah. We've tried just about everything they offer. Um, but they are hot right now. When you go to get a Midwinter Night's Dram for six days, there's a line down yeah. the street to pick these That's up, right? That's ridiculous. So like, they're taking advantage of that for sure. Yeah. Also, we don't know how much they bought those barrels for from Prisoner, right? They good point. They probably had a good they, investment into they that. They paid an arm and a leg. Um, <clears throat> my story, uh, I tried this at a local bar, a nicer restaurant that has a pretty insane whiskey selection. And uh, bartender was like, we got it because I saw it on their menu or whatever. Yeah, he's like, it's twenty five a pour, and I was like, Ugh. that's a little too expensive. That's that's a lot for something like this. Like you're you're trying to you're we had George T stack for twenty eight. Yeah, that's, that's what like I mean. B tech like, you're, level. You're that's way in B tech too high. and pappies and that kind of thing. Yeah. Anyways, I was like, ah, a little pricey. I'm gonna pass. Bar manager came back over and was like. Hey, I'll give it to you for 15 bucks. Oh, oh any day. Oh, Sold, yeah. sir. Totally worth it. Yes. That's definitely <clears throat> so I was a try at that point, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, this is my second time having it. So and you went to buy. I'm a buy. Of course, you have to be a buy. You bought it. Because I bought it, yep. and I still enjoy it after my second time of trying it. All right. Interesting. And again, if you're like the seat, like the casual, like Friday night, I like to have some knob crit. This, this isn't going to be for you, right? Right. This is a bourbon collector's thing. So... It's a yeah, this is a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go.
Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. Have you tried the prisoner share? Have you gotten a pour? What would you pay for a pour of this? I mean, uh, definitely interesting, very wine forward. Um, do you have any recommendations of other wine whiskeys? We mentioned Driftless Glen. Port is a good one. If you know them, they're a local distillery for us. But what other port whiskeys do you like? Otherwise, uh, stay tuned, watch some of our other videos, like, comment, subscribe, Not and we'll port. see you Blend. Sorry. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next yeah. one. <laughs> All for one and one for all. Cheers. Cheers.